March's Energy Agency is a registered charity and a social enterprise. We've been going in one form or another since 1995, so we're some 15 years old, so we've been at this a long time. And we have a, a big and important job to do as an organisation. We have a job essentially to address three things. Energy security, the fact that our current forms of energy, oil and gas, aren't going to last forever. We have a big issue around how much energy costs, the issue of affordability, the fact that a lot of people are under real stress with you know, paying too much for their energy and also probably the biggest and most important issue, that of, of climate change, the fact that burning fossil fuels is affecting the planet and the climate and so we're trying through our work um, to address those three big challenges. March's Energy Agency is, is a not-for-profit organisation so we're a, a company limited by guarantee so we have no shareholders, we have a, a board of nine directors essentially charge me with de delivering the business plan of, of, of MEA which is principally um, around helping the disadvantaged around education and actually implementing this low carbon future. We can't distribute profit so all of the profit goes towards our purposes as an organisation. As an organisation we've been ahead of the curve so a lot of the products and services that we have and that we've been trying to deliver people don't really know yet that they want. Most householders are happy to you know, waste money on energy each month and they're not too well connected with, with potentially the damage that their use of energy is causing. But we're seeing a real sea change out in, in, in the world now. People are getting really connected with how much it's costing them to you know, fill their car up with petrol or diesel each week or you know, how much their you know, direct debits to their utility company, how much they've gone up in recent years. So people are starting to see real opportunities to, to save money and also to do interesting and exciting things. We're also, as, as a social enterprise, trying to develop products and services that people want to buy. We've been growing year on year as an organisation. We started off just with one person. We're now at, at 20 with a gross income approaching a million pounds. And policy is very much uh, focused on helping organisations like us deliver what's really a cross-political issue you know, of, of, of climate change. You know, everyone thinks this is really important and, uh, and you know, government thinks that social enterprise is the right way to deliver this. We've also helped a huge number of people, both businesses, other social enterprises, charities and householders. And for example, over the last couple of years, our Keep Shropshire Warm project has helped more than 6,000 householders. They're saving in excess of several million pounds each year and getting on for 4,000 tonnes of CO2 being emitted into the atmosphere again each year. And if you just think in a small county like Shropshire, what the impact of a couple of million pounds more money in people's pockets are, each year, that, that's a, you know, a, a fabulous outcome in its own right. Recently we've developed an online product called We Save at the website wesave.org.uk to help other social enterprises and other organisations play their part in this future. There's never been a better time to start a social enterprise. The whole sector is gaining credibility, becoming more visible almost on a daily basis and also the politics are really supportive of an enterprising way of doing business. Um, the whole big messages around big society and around the way government are looking to transform the way public services are delivered. There's going to be huge opportunities in this sector over the next decade. I've got three key messages to other social enterprises. One is around collaboration. I think we need to collaborate much, much more with each other. The next one is around visibility and we all need to, to be applying for social enterprise mark and, and raising the visibility of what social enterprise does and the brilliant the brilliant stuff that, 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 that we do and then the third thing is to trade with each other we need essentially to, to be buying products and services from other social enterprises to, to help sustain the sector through probably what are going to be very interesting times as we make the transformation to a more, more socially enterprising future.